Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another ranking video where I pick all the items I own from a particular brand and I rank them. Uh, today I'm doing Bare Minerals, but let me know what you'd like to see next. So overall I have eight items I will be ranking from Bare Minerals. It's a brand that I really do enjoy. However, I feel like the products, they take some learning how to use and it's one of those things where each item I own has taken me some time to learn how to love and nothing I really was like overwhelmingly like loved right off the bat. It's one of those brands that me that falls kind of in the middle of the road and it's not a favorite brand but it's not a brand that I dislike either. I clearly have enough to keep purchasing items from them. But let's go ahead and start in at number eight and actually this is my newest Bare Minerals item. I picked this up in I think January but it is the Complexion Rescue and it's one of those items where it's like it depends on the base I have underneath it whether or not I like it. Some days I don't really care for it, some days I actually really do like it and I think I heard Kelly Gooch kind of say that with this like some days she loves it, some days she hates it. I just got the mini version which I'm happy I did but you know I don't hate it enough to declutter it. I do like it but just you've got to be really careful with the base underneath it. Keep in mind I do have normal to dry skin. Next is at number seven the it's the all over face color in the shade warmth which i use as a bronzer uh it's very deep you got to be very careful when using it i like to take a little bit in of it into the cap and really swirl around my brush uh, i really got to get in there and get the color evenly dispersed otherwise it ends up patchy uh, but once it's on the face and once i take those steps i do like it I actually like it quite a bit. So I, I really do enjoy reaching for this bronzer. Coming in at number six is a multitasking concealer. I do enjoy this concealer. I love a good stick concealer because it's just easy to swipe on the face, blend it in, and I can be out the door. It is a little bit heavier than I traditionally like in a concealer. It goes on thicker, and if I'm not careful, it will crease on me. Um, but it's it's good. Uh, for reference, I've got the shade Fair Light Neutral 03. And again, I, it's just, it goes on heavy, but the finish is nice, again, when done right. Number five is another all over face color, and this is the blush shade. This is in the shade Glee. Same thing with the bronzer shade. I gotta really take some of the powder, stick it in the cap, swirl around my brush get a nice even coat and then it actually makes a really pretty blush on my skin tone it does appear deeper but it's i enjoy it you just got to take those extra steps which i'm probably gonna be saying that this whole video um but once i learn how to use it all i really do like it number four bare pro foundation i do enjoy a good powder foundation for the sole fact if i can get it all over my face quickly when I want to get out the door and it looks good. However, because my skin runs dry, I got to make sure that I've got a really good solid moisturized base underneath. Otherwise, it does look dry and cakey, but it's a good foundation nonetheless. I wouldn't recommend it if you have overly dry skin. I actually probably wouldn't recommend any of these products if you have overly dry skin. And at number three is the powder concealer, the Bare Pro concealer. I have mine in the shade bisque. Uh, I like to stick a small brush. I like to get a little bit of it on the in the cap here and I like to just get grab a small powder brush dip it in again swirling the brush around really good and I like how it gives a nice soft airbrush finish under the eyes I will swipe it underneath the eyes uh, and any other areas I need concealing it's not the best at full coverage I would recommend putting a liquid concealer underneath and then powdering with this on top I don't do that every day because I don't always feel like I need or really want a full coverage concealer but it does conceal and it really does look like an airbrush finished. Again, just make sure your base is well moisturized. I mean, I do like this and I do highly recommend it. And number two is the bronzer. I've got the shade Kiss of Rose. Not the bronzer, the bronzer. So it's marketed as a blush bronzer hybrid. At the end of the day, it's a blush. And I like to describe it as a blush, but with the undertone of a bronzer and the overtone of a blush uh, it makes like a really good I feel like kind of in between like if my 
bronzer and my blush is looking patchy. I like to use this to kind of marry the two together or I just like to use it as a blush altogether. It is very pretty and I think the undertones are neat but at the end of the day it's a blush and not a bronzer. But I do want to get the other two shades of this. And coming in at number one and if you know me I do not like powders for setting my face. Uh, I feel like they make my skin look dry and when I do it's usually when I'm setting my eyeshadow or I'm doing a very, very light dusting underneath the under eyes just to help set things into place on those days. But number one is the Mineral Veil Powder. This is just a mini. It's got a pink undertone, which I like for brightening my under eyes. I'm actually almost done with this. I don't have a lot of use left. I feel like I can finish this very soon. Um, again, take your brush, put it in the cap, take your brush, swirl it around, get a nice even um even layer and then brush it on under the eyes but i absolutely love this powder this can see this may be the only powder i ever choose to repurchase when the time comes uh, i don't own a lot of powders i don't like a lot of powders but this kind of powder is like the best of the best for my opinion and again i have dry skin i don't like powders but yet this is ranking at number one for bare minerals which tells me that i love 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 this powder and that is everything I own from Bare Minerals. Again, let me know what brands you'd like to see next. Um, and let me know if you're liking this style of video. I'm having fun doing them. But um, again, Bare Minerals is a brand that I do enjoy. You just got to learn how to use their products. So not a beginner friendly brand. I'll, however, Bare Minerals was actually the first high-end brand I ever tried. It's the first brand that uh, when I was in high school, I got my professional makeup done for the first time for my aunt's wedding fell in love with it and then my mom and my aunt invested in Bare Minerals for me to try so it actually was the first high-end brand I ever owned. Um, knowing what I know now about makeup I absolutely love the brand but I don't think it's the most beginner friendly brand but I will continue to purchase items from Bare Minerals. Anyway if you are new here welcome to my channel I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle. My goal on this platform is to share my love for beauty as well as my love for my Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I am also pregnant, so I've got pregnancy content coming. I've got some videos out already, some videos being prepared. So um, if all of that is what you're into, hit that subscribe button. And if not, but you still want to stick around, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.